Did you know NASA was about to scrap the entire project of Webb telescope due to the continuous rise in its cost? The estimated cost of James Webb telescope in 2000 was just 1 billion dollars. The construction of Webb was initiated in 2004 and in 2005 the budget was already raised to 4 billion dollars. But it ended up being a mega project and today its final cost is more than 10 billion US dollars. But what caused Webb to be so expensive? Let's dive deep into reasons. Number 1 In 2018, NASA reconstructed the entire project due to a combination of complex engineering and mismanagement that raised the cost of telescope to 8.8 billion US dollars. Due to serious technical issues, the launch was continuously delayed for 3 more years, causing the addition of another billion dollars to the total cost of telescope. And now, the cost was raised to 9 billion dollars. For instance, the most recent delay in the launch was on 21 December 2021. The delay was caused by a communication glitch between the observatory and the launch pad. This is why NASA tested the telescope countless times before launch because a minor mistake will waste years of effort, weight, and money. Number 2. James Webb is massive. and needs the coldest temperature to stabilize its infrared detectors and in order to keep the telescope cold so that its detectors work properly web was destined to rest at lagrange point 2 or l2 which is about 1 million miles above the earth remember l2 is a point of gravitational balance that is far away from the sun and is a perfect place to explore space and dive deep into the time period of the birth of the universe which in case of hubble was totally opposite hubble is just 340 miles above earth hst is unable to stabilize its dazzling infrared detectors due to immense heat it absorbs from the sun and the earth which takes me to point number 3 and that is Webb has a deployable sun shield which is the size of a tennis court. It is made of five layers of kapton. Kapton is an aluminum coated space blanket. These five layers of ultralight kapton are efficiently made to absorb heat. Webb is so perfectly designed that the spaces or gaps between the layers allow heat to be perfectly radiated away from the telescope. Whereas Hubble Space Telescope is directly exposed to the sun rays and it also absorbs the heat from earth due to which its infrared detectors are dazzled and the telescope cannot see distant objects. Number 4. Webb always required far more advanced technology than Hubble because it is destined to peer back in time when the universe was just born. The Hubble Space Telescope has a 2.4 meter diameter mirror as compared to Webb's 6.6 meter primary mirror with a 25 square meter wide collecting area. It will not just take more clear images but also it will take less time to complete its task than Hubble could. James Webb is so massive that to fit inside Ariana's five space rockets its wide mirror has to be folded into an origami style which is a Japanese art of paper folding. Number 5. The entire 25 square meter collecting area of the primary mirror of James Webb is made from an 18 hexagonal segmented mirror. It weighs just 21 kg whereas the weight of Hubble's mirror is 818 kg. Shockingly, the segmented mirror of Webb is lighter than Hubble's mirror because it is made up of special ultralight beryllium metal. Number 6. Webb has larger collecting area and can capture longer infrared wavelengths. It takes deep field images with better resolution and detail than Hubble. Webb can take pictures with long exposure time for about 12 and a half hours, allowing it to capture even the faintest form of incoming light. The Hubble telescope, which had its own dramatic reveal in the 1990s, is now a second fiddle. The James Webb telescope is designed to capture light 100 times fainter than that captured by Hubble. Number 
scientists had an unexpected experience of short-sightedness with the Hubble Space Telescope, which caused blurry photos later. The bug was then fixed by a group of astronauts who were sent to space. The Hubble Space Telescope was lucky enough to receive glasses, but in case of Webb, any mission required to correct technical issues is nearly impossible, hence no failures are allowed. This is why NASA has spent almost 20 to 24 years building and making sure that each and every part of the telescope has no chance of mistakes or problems. The entire procedure of building and testing the telescope cost NASA an immense amount of money, energy, and time. Number 8. Transporting the observatory to the launch pad in French Guiana was another serious challenge. It took 16 days and another $1 billion contributed by the European and Canadian Space Agency to transport the observatory to the launch site. And now, the cost has reached $10 billion in total. According to NASA, most of its funding was spent on the development of the telescope, including the initial modeling of the project, construction of each of its components, and testing before its launch. Once the telescope was launched in 2021, cost decreased significantly and is expected to remain lower for the duration of the telescope's time in space. In total, NASA plans to spend about $1.1 billion more on the Space Telescope through 2027. These funds will be used entirely for operational costs such as maintenance and repairs. Scientists believe that this huge investment and decades of wait will eventually be worth the outcome. James Webb is the successor of Hubble Space Telescope and is built under circumstances to perform better than Hubble Space in almost all possible ways. Its ability to look deep into space and time will definitely provide unimaginable rewards to our scientific knowledge. The Webb is expected to serve for 5 to 10 years.